This is practically unbelievable. While the rest of the world are waiting patiently, I'm praying, I'm praying fervently that Israel does not retaliate Iran's attack on the soil of Israel. Another big wahala has just started. Yes. As I speak with you in the last 24 hours, Iran's proxy Hezbollah has succeeded in attacking the private residence of Israeli Prime Minister Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> Almost this one through through fear me. And at this one, I outside people they call Kudiyazo Matayazo Kudiyakare Matayagudu. <laughs> and guess what? These people sent a total of three drones to the private residence of Israeli Prime Minister Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. And two out of the three drones were captured by Israeli defense system. And unfortunately, one of them went through the central seaside of Caesarea and exploded. <laughs> now here are the gigs. Israeli Prime Minister was not at home when this attack on his private residence happened. After the attack, an Israeli defense force through the defense minister have gone further to confirm that the attack was targeted on the state of Israel and on government properties. Now here are the consequences. Nobody was expecting that an attack on the private home of Israeli Prime Minister would happen in this fashion. Many are now speculating that this very attack could go further to give Israel the legitimacy not only to return the Iran's attack on the soil of Israel but also to target the private home of the leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran. <laughs> This is a very big trouble. I've been praying fervently in my heart that Israel does not retaliate Iran's attack to avoid possible escalation that might lead to what is in the heart of many people all over the world. I am talking about World War III. Now, Israeli Prime Minister don't come out. Con reeco his commitment towards destroying all the terrorist group in Lebanon, in Judea, in Samaria, in Iran, and also across the entire Middle East. And he went further to say that Iran's proxy Hezbollah attack on his private residence is a grave mistake. <laughs> that they would definitely pay. Omo, the man talks say that he is proud of Israeli soldiers. And nothing goes surprise him. Make on a listen to what the man talk. What? <laughs> ואנחנו ממשיכים קדימה עד הסוף. ואני רוצה להגיד לך דבר נוסף, אני גאה בחיילים שלנו, אני גאה במפקדים שלנו, ואני גאה בכם, אזרחי ישראל. ראש הממשלה, משהו ירתיע אותך? לא, שום דבר לא ירתיע אותנו. אנחנו ממשיכים עד הניצחון. Well, I do know that part of the consequences of this attack on the private home of Benjamin Netanyahu is simply going to make Israel stronger, not to back down on their earlier submission when they said that Israel seizing fire simply means surrendering to barbarism and terrorism. Make on here when the Prime Minister, they talk him. I want to make clear Israel's position regarding a ceasefire. Just as the United States would not agree to a ceasefire after the bombing of Pearl Harbor or after the terrorist attack of 9-11, Israel will not agree to a cessation of hostilities with Hamas after the horrific attacks of October 7th. Calls for a ceasefire are calls for Israel to surrender to Hamas, to surrender to terrorism, to surrender to barbarism. That will not happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says that there is a time for peace and a time for war. This is a time for war, a war for our common future. Today we draw a line between the forces of civilization and the forces of barbarism. It is a time for everyone to decide where they stand. Israel will stand against the forces of barbarism until victory. Well, at this point, all I honestly pray for is for peace to reign. Even though American government now is currently sending, you know, high profile missile defense system to Israel to help them in defense against Iran. And at the same time, sending more troops. Sequel to this, there are a lot of conspiracy theories going on now which includes but not limited to that Israel might possibly retaliate Iran's attack before United States of American election which I think is later to happen on the 5th of November and do not forget that if Israel retaliates this attack it means 
that America will be forced into that very war. And if America begins to engage on a foreign war before the election, it means that Joe Biden will not step down from power. These are part of the conspiracy theory. So the question now is, will Israel retaliate Iran's attack before America's election? Or will they wait for America to constitute a new president before retaliating Iran's attack? These are some of the conspiracy theories and you know speculation. I sincerely hope that anywhere you are watching this video from every part of the world that all of us will be safe. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section and share this video. Man, other person, see God bless you.